guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please do press that like button, please do subscribe. It is Thursday morning and another hot one. It's 24 degrees inside my flat. Although the sun is not shining, um, it's muggy and it's humid. So we've got another hot day on our hands because uh, if we just go outside, um, you'll see the flowers that I got from Mr. Flower in Rochester High Street yesterday. The orange roses down there and the purple plant on there. This is my little garden area where I get my plants and I grew these ones. These ones I grew from seed, so those are grown from seed. That little tortoise came from Morrison's. Right, so you, as you can see in the background there's mist, it's misty. The sky is misty, it's not raining, it's misty. So there's mist. Mist out there. Let's go back in. Um extremely hot um, although the sun's not out I mean it's really 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 hot I found it really difficult to sleep in last night I was up and down like a yo-yo um, things change don't they things change over time people change things change we lose people uh, but we gain things as well, don't forget. We gain knowledge. We learn from our mistakes. We also, you know, there's negative people. There's people that sap your energy, take off you and don't return anything. And then we just learn to leave those people alone. Now, I'm quite happy by myself without interference. It's when other people start upsetting me, interfering. Right, I'm fine by myself. This heat is actually unbearable. Um, I've been sitting in front of two or three fans for about two weeks. Um, it is September after all. Um, it's the birthday month for a lot of people. Uh, it was my father's birthday on the 5th. It's my son's birthday in the middle of September. And it's my birthday at the end. My mother, Jennifer, was born in May 1946. My mum is a Taurus, the bull, so she was born in May. I'm Libra, the scales, which is September. My father was a Virgo, Virgo, the virgin. Today, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm not really going anywhere, I'm not doing anything. I managed to get myself down Rochester High Street. And then you can see that the buildings are collapsing. The buildings are crumbling, they're under scaffolding. Inside the cathedral, all the wall is cracking. So you can see that, that it's falling apart. A lot of the buildings in Medway are under scaffolding. These buildings have only been up three years and they're scaffolding up at the side, right? In my opinion, at the moment, for me, the outside is dangerous. I wouldn't want to travel in a car. I wouldn't want to really go anywhere in this intense heat. So I'm happy by myself indoors. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm a single woman on my own. When I was younger, I went to places. I've been all over Medway, I've been to most places in Kent, I went to Folkestone in February, right, I'm an older woman, right, let the younger generation get on with it, 
because when you get older you've been there you've done that and are quite relaxed at home alexa good morning good morning on this day in 1936 buddy holly was born famous for his thick rimmed glasses and rock and roll sound he died aged just 22 but made a lasting impact and inspired a pretty great Weezer song too. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 9.05 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Alexa, the date. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday, the 7th of September. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 19 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect hazy sunshine, with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. Also, there's a flood alert in effect. That's a new one. Hazy sunshine. I suppose that su sun coming in and out of the clouds. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What do you get if you cross a bird, a limo, and a puppy? A flying carpet. Right, I don't... I'm happy by myself. I'm a single lady. I've got no partner. So if I went out anywhere, it would be with by myself, wouldn't it? I think somewhere along the line, you're dealing with someone that's got a very cruel, nasty nature. Somebody that wants to punish me every day of my life. And um, basically, they can get on with it because you're not punishing me, you're punishing yourself. <laughs> because I'm going to get up, which I've done, I've made coffee, I've lost my cat, right? I've lost my cat that I had for 13 years. And, and if that's not punishment enough, right, for doing absolutely any, nothing at all but live, and obviously leave an ex that's probably a bit upset about it. I'm supposed to suffer, am I? You're supposed to find nasty, cruel ways to hurt me inside and out. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. People that are selfish, they learn their lesson eventually. And it'll be too late to say sorry, I can assure you. Right, that's what I'm going to say on the matter. It's just every, every day someone tries to upset me with some new form of tactic. Right? The last... Sorry, I've got some girls laughing underneath the balcony. I've got not a clue why... I just had a, I had a, I had a conversation with my son over the telephone. He said he's going to Devon, Devon, which is in Cornwall. So I just had a private two-minute conversation with my son, who said he's going to Cornwall today. My son is got a couple of girls giggling under the balcony. It's just weird. He's his own, my son's his own man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it's, it's a woman, it's a female, a very spiteful person. Um, my son, apparently, is going to Devon. Right? i am be staying in Rochester. I'm very, very hot. I bumped my head a couple of days ago quite badly which probably triggered that migraine yesterday. I want to stay and rest indoors. It's not funny. It's a jealous female, and I'm someone's mum. I'm a mother. I'm just being spiteful and nasty. I need to grow up. How can you be jealous of a woman in their 50s? I mean, for goodness sake. Anyway, let's, let's have enough of, of that. Um, yeah, well, it's his birthday soon. I expect he wants to go on holiday or somewhere with his girlfriend. And 
have a nice time or with his mates. I'm just relaxing indoors, you know. I just want to rest as I get older. Not gallivanting about halfway around the world and country. Did all that when I was younger. Do you know when I was younger? When I was younger, in my twenties, I used to went used to love fairground rides. You know, the ghost train, the fucking Ferris wheel. I can't go on fairground rides now. I can't. We we change as we get older. We learn to slow down. We learn to look after ourselves and to realise that life is short. I personally don't believe in bullying people because it doesn't work, it backfires on you. These girls are going to have such egg on their face when they, it does, nothing gets to me anymore. They're going to have egg on their face, they're going to look ridiculous. Because <laughs> it's silly, it's silly. I'm, I'm at home right and i'm just relaxing and, and i'm not cross at all every, every morning one of these so-called bitches goes through my youtube channel they go through the channel they watch it to torture themselves to torture themselves because if you don't like me why would you watch the video from from front to end from beginning to end why would you watch the video they torture their own self they watch it uh, and if you don't like someone why would you watch a YouTube from start to finish it's stupid Alexa LBC radio LBC London from global player back together um then yes. if you're the gentleman i think you spend a lot how many years did you spend in jail Remind 35 me. years 35 years in jail um, yeah, what, 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 so you, not what, what um what put you behind bars remind my listeners sorry hold on a minute yeah i said what what was your crime why did you go to jail uh manslaughter right when you uh, uh, was category a yes but the thing about that nick is um, when Mountbatten originally came out with the idea, that's the uh, George Blake escape and Biggs from Wandsworth. Yeah, Ronnie Biggs. He, he came out with category A, B, C and D. Right. And he thought that there would only be 120 prisoners who would be category A. Yeah. But overnight, they just sent this one, this one, that, and, and they went through them and made them category A. And suddenly the restrictions for them changed, you know, they were severe. Right. But there was there was nothing scientific about it. It was just who do you think was a problem and all the rest of it. Okay. So when when you commit a or read domestic manslaughter, I'm not minimising. I'm saying this is what it is: it's a domestic situation. Yeah. And yet they made me category A. Right. Why? And the reason was because they didn't couldn't work out uh, what why the killing had happened. That was the only reason. I could have told them. But by back then, I had Asperger's syndrome, I still got it. And they said I was a psychopath, which is a big difference. So, why did you, why did you, uh, with, uh, and I want to move on to other matters, but just to finish this conversation yeah. off, why was it necessary for you to kill the person? It wasn't necessary, it was diminished responsibility. This is where you need to understand that. A defence to murder, Yes. Is if someone has but diminished what, responsibility. What had he done you know, to annoy you? Why did you get in that situation? Oh, no, you, you can get in that situation. Anyone can get in it. If you've got Asperger's syndrome, you can have meltdowns. You know, it's something like that. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. You've gone through the system. They haven't sorted it out. And they're going to put you with someone who just gets on your nerves, gets under your fingernails, gets inside your brain. And that's all it was. If there was nothing personal against her or anything like that. Nothing but you want to get back to this story. Right. Uh, you once escaped from jail. Yeah. How do you do it? I got between the top bar and the arch, the, the brickwork. It was only a six inch gap, six and a half inch gap. And I climbed up onto the roof. It was a two level 
building, crammed up onto the roof, walked along the guttering. It's not this cheap plastic stuff today. This was cast iron guttering. Walked along it, dropped down onto a wall, and that was about six foot below. I could see the night clocky through the window watching TV. I then walked along onto the visiting roof and walked off the visiting roof onto the gatehouse, walked over the top of the gatehouse, slipped down into the, a little yard at the side of the gatehouse where the statues put their bicycles, opened the gate and just walked out. And that was only a category C prison. But I went from there to Wandsworth. How long was it before prison. they recaptured you? Uh, well, the same night, they, um, I went out, I went across the fields and the rest of it, and then after a few hours, I thought, oh, I'll go back onto the road. And the first police car that came round the bend had one of these new machines on where they had my photographs in the car, you know, on a computer thing, one of these new ones. Yeah. And got me then, and, uh, you know, by that time, I was exhausted, you can't go through cloud fields and keep going. Right. You know, it's uh, in the end, gave up. But the, the thing about that was uh, I went to Wandsworth, right. you know, and um, in, in the category B, and what happened there is with the category A, there's no category A prisons. Right. You know, what, you, what you've got are dispersal prisons where they didn't want to put all the category A in one prison. In other words, don't put all the bad eggs in one bag. How many prisons have you been to? Them? John, how many Sorry? prisons have you been to? Oh, Nearly all of them. The only one I have been in is that you can think of is full Sutton. Right. How did you rate? Well, tell me what. Is Wandsworth one of the worst? Like the rest? Oh, it, 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 it's bad. I mean, I'm going back in the 70s, um, Nick, mm. when there was Frankie Fraser in there with me. Yeah. Uh, the IRA people were in there. You know, ones like that. So, uh, and basically, you just walk. Um, the uniform with a yellow patch on the back of the jacket. Right. Okay. Yellow stripe down the front and the back of your legs for escapees. But category E's, escapees, uh, category A's wore those. And the security was pretty tight back then. But How did he do it? How, how, how has this bloke done it, do you imagine? Well, I don't believe he was underneath unless they found straps on there. I believe he was actually inside the back of the van. Now, bearing in mind that those bread vans have trolleys, you know, I trolley yeah. that we got all the sacks of bread and everything. Yeah, yeah. And they'll pull the end one out, because I've worked in shops and they'll pull the end one out, take it into wherever they're going, and leave the back door open. So I think it's got in there, got behind those, you know, at, at the back where they couldn't see them. And but how's he under the van? Hold back. on, L lastly, we'll get to news in a minute for people who are waiting. How is he, if he's in the van, in the back, how's he open the van once he's out of the gates? You know what's happened is the van driver's come back from delivering it. He's at the back of the stacks. Well, the I think we, we know, if the van driver then opens the back of the van and this fellow jumps out, I think yeah. we've been told those details, wouldn't we? No, I'm, what I'm saying is he's at the back. Now, the next time he opens it up, he'll open it up wherever he's gone through the next way. He'll take out that thing. Has he gone into the shop or wherever he's gone into it? He then comes out. That's what I'm saying. I've got it, it, I it's a well-worn thing that's happened years ago. And well, did you and try it? Happened again. But it, sorry? Did you ever try that one? No, but um, I had to do in Wakefield and they had to upgrade all the security there because they had an 18-inch by 15-inch hole in the wall. And I said I was building a fireplace because it was cold. But getting back to that, as they've gone into the shop, either got out, and that's why they won't know. Fascinating talking with you, John. We're way late to the news. Thank you, I think. But certainly some interesting points. 18 minutes gone after nine now. LBC News headlines, Thomas Watts. A cabinet minister's told Nick that a review is underway into the escape of a terror suspect from HMB Wandsworth. The government's confirmed Britain has rejoined Horizon, the EU's science research programme. The US has agreed to send controversial armour-piercing shells to Ukraine. LBC weather dry with plenty of hot sunshine, a high of 32 degrees.
LBC travel line to our web, still very slow on the M25 anti-clockwise from Junction 27 at the M11, 26 at Waltham Abbey after a car broke down, and then a van's broken down clockwise just after the Clackett Lane services, so there are delays back to Junction 5 at the M26. On the M4, the westbound entry slip road at Junction 5 at Langley remains closed, that's coming from the London Road at the A4, and that's closed because of an accident. In Harlesden, Craven Park Road is closed northbound at the High Street, and that's because of a fire in a building and in Rygate Bell Street remains closed at northbound because a car has overturned and as a result there are lengthy queues on the approach. This is LBC. At Tesco Mobile. Right guys, guys, do I look up set? Do I look up set? Do I look miserable? Do I look angry? I'm a single middle-aged woman getting on with every day of my life and I'm fine. It's going to reach a high of 32 degrees today. Be careful. Very, very hot. Don't do excessive exercise. And just keep safe, which I do in my, my own home. And what everyone does to try and make me personally angry won't work because I'm sensible. I'm not stupid. See you later.